nothing. Berry webs still down. All over town. Crumbling gooseberries. We're missing Berry in the know. Oh, forget it. Show's almost over anyway. <gasps> oh, look! It's back up! So remember, fashionistas, just two weeks until the big event. What big event? It's Barry in the Know Fashion Talk Show's first fashion contest. Oh, a fashion contest? <laughs> Technology makes this live streaming Barry Net show possible. So our theme is... Technology in fashion. Technology? That's right, technology. So enter today. Until then, this is Mavis Maraschino reminding you to ask yourselves, are you very in the know? <laughs> What's the matter? You two are the fashion experts of Berry Bitty City. You definitely have to enter. We know fashion, but technology is not our area of expertise. Now wait, so what if you're techno newbies? I just read a book that says when you're a beginner, anything's possible because you don't know what's impossible. It says right here, above all, you must keep your windows of creativity open. Whoa. <gasps> I think the windows are opening. Where? No, my windows of creativity. I have an idea. Oh, come on, Raspberry. Thanks, Blueberry. Technology and crashing? No, technology and fashion. We have this great idea for a new kind of fashion show. Could you? Oh, I could. Mm. And we want you to be the star. Uh, sorry, girls. I'm a little distracted tonight. Things have been crazy trying to run the cafe and the marketplace. Today was the worst. The marketplace had a run on rutabagas like you wouldn't believe. Maybe you could tell me your idea tomorrow? But this is an unbelievable first for fashion. Here, let me help you. This idea is so, so cutting edge. Let me do that. Brilliant. It's brilliant. Uh. <laughs> You better tell me now. So you want me to be your model in this technology and fashion contest with a video camera in my hair? Exactly! Here, look! You'll be wearing a hair cam that Lemon will make! And a special skirt that Raspberry will make! A skirt that's also a video screen! Whatever the hair cam films, the video screen shows! And what the hair cam films will be you, demonstrating your favorite recipe using the high-tech gadgets in your kitchen. Wow, that's the wildest tech fashion idea I've ever heard of. You should definitely go with it. <laughs> but I just don't see how I'm going to have time to be your model. I wouldn't even have time to come to the fittings. Not when I'm running two businesses at the same time. Okay, Raspberry, what do you think? We should do this. Um, strawberry? What if you only had to worry about one business? Huh? What if we run the cafe for you until the contest? Then you'd have time to be our model. Please, Strawberry. In the name of art and progress. You think you could run the cafe? Well, we do our beginners best. <sighs> okay, we'll give it a try. Okay. <laughs> Order of waffles, two smoothies. Oh, who had the island surprise? Uh, what's an island surprise? I guess it's a surprise. so I can take over for you at lunch. Gotta go. I have to finish three pedicures, three Berry Bitty blowouts, and three fresh and fragrant facials.
I didn't. But you said you're the only one who knows how. Well, I am. We got flat tires because you wanted to drive through this turnip patch. Strawberry patch! Who's that? Oh, customers! Okay, Sour, customers. Sunshine, sweetness, smiles. I'm smiling on the inside. Good morning. Welcome to Sweet and Sour's food truck. I'm Sweet, she's Sour. We're Sweet and Sour Grapes. We're twins. But we're nothing alike. May I offer you my Whipped and World Peach Parfait? Well, thank you! Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's delicious! If you want delicious, stuff your face with my curried cucumber canapé. Oh! Mmm! Enjoy a persimmon hazelnut honey waffle. Chew on this sun-dried tomato and chili crepe. Bite-sized berry brittle. Dice dips a la sour. No! Stop! It's so, so good. good! Which one? It was the dates, wasn't it? I can't make up my mind. But one thing is certain. You girls sure can cook. Lemon, what if we get them down while well, Papa can help us with the So, I know we just met. And we barely know you. But how would you like a job? Great! The Barricans are on it. They're gonna take care of the food truck. Do you think this is gonna work? Piece of cake. I'll get them to set up in the cafe while you try your new hair cam on Strawberry. Then you can have her for your skirt fitting this afternoon. Deal! Okay, now don't move. Mm-hmm. And perfect! We are about to make fashion history! <gasps> Good 
afternoon, miss. Please have a seat. Huh? Ann, may I take your order? Uh, who... who are... No hurry. Take your time to peruse our menu of delicious, delectable, and simply delightful dishes. I'll be back in a jiffy. What'll it be? Uh, someone already... Uh, wait, who... What's with your hair? What? Never mind. Taste can't be learned, but lucky for you, you get to taste one of my... I mean... Our specials. Today we have sweets, banana, butter, squash, bleh, I mean, bisque. Sours, salsify, sunflower salad, mm, it's a winner. And I don't know why I even mentioned this special, the other chef made it, but <sighs> sweet strawberry fondue, or I should say fondue. <laughs> oh, and I highly recommend my spicy ricey jalapeno omelet with peanut butter chutney. Uh... Maybe if I go bake a cake and come back, you'll have made up your mind by then. I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you the specials. I would recommend the strawberry fondue. That's a real crowd pleaser. Hi, Lemon! Raspberry! I was supposed to meet Strawberry for a fitting. Aren't you finished yet with her hair? Oh, I'm finished, all right. Finished with my hair cam, finished with technology, finished with this whole contest. What are you talking about? Where's Strawberry? At the marketplace. She said she had to go back to work. Nuh-uh. She's not. I mean, I'm at the marketplace, and she's not. Oh, she must have met her other place of business. Hey, was she excited when you told her about the twins? Lemon? I thought you were going to tell her about the twins. <gasps> A pyramid. Oh, what? Never serve pyramids in my cafe. Oh dear. Who are these people? Is there something wrong with your papaya pyramid? If someone would just tell me what is. I totally understand. You needn't say another word. I'll get you a nice celery sweet swirl, one of my personal specialties. Strawberry! We can explain! Some strangers who don't seem to like each other very much have taken over my cafe. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they came from. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to find out. No, 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 no. It's our fault. Uh, we sort of, kind of, thought we would, well, we didn't just think. We actually went ahead and hired them. Hired them? Them whom? Whom? Them? Sweet and sour. They're really good chefs. Uh, and they're twins. <laughs> it's too sweet. Sweet. Just give it a taste. It's way too salty. We're making soup, not syrup. <gasps> they don't look so much like twins. I don't think they want to. Uh, let's talk. Ladies, I don't know if now's the best time to try new chefs, especially with the dinner honoring Princess Barrikin tonight. <gasps> We'll make sure everything goes smooth as icing. Smooth them! Smoother! Even! I don't know about this. We'll make it work, Strawberry. Are you sure? Promise! Well, okay. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. Thank you. <sighs> I have to go check the marketplace. Then I'll be expecting you back at the salon, Lemon, so you can do something about this. About what? Ha <laughs> ha Oh, that! Sure, of course, no problem. <laughs> oh, what were we thinking? Well, who knew they were so argumentative? No, I mean the contest. I mean everything. Oh, I can't make a hair cam. I can't make a video skirt. Oh. Whatever gave us the idea we could do this in the first place? Blueberry! Let the aromas of nature stimulate your creative energies. Ah, uh, What is that stuff? Fizzleberry and Nostrilla Ticklebine. They stimulate the sinuses and the senses. Nice, isn't it? Mm-mm, not really. So, let's try a word association. 
meditation exercise to break down the walls of rigid thinking and let those problem-solving creative ideas flow. I'll say a word, and you say the first word that pops into your mind. We'll start with lemon. Here we go. Hairdo. Explosion! Fashion. Failure! Style. Stale. Um, I don't think this is working. Oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. It's not the exercise, it's me. I'm just in a bad mood. Uh, maybe you better continue without me. Oh, Lemon, don't give up. Everyone gets moody from time to time. <gasps> moody! That's it! I'll do mood nails instead of a hair cam. I'll design nails that change color depending on your mood. Yay! Great idea, Lemon. But then, what do we show on your video screen skirt? I don't know. Could we pre-record something cool and screen that on the skirt? Then it wouldn't have to be live. You know, we wouldn't need a hair cam. Bells and berries, that's it! Do you have any friend fragrance? Um, I mean, scents that bring friendship, harmony, a little peace? I recommend lemon verbena and skittermint. Thanks! Just in case. <laughs> I'd like to share a few of my most pleasant memories of our beloved Princess Berrikin, a princess who reigns with grace and wisdom. We all remember Sour. when... Sour! Something's burning! <gasps> my cakes! <laughs> I'm sorry, Sour. Can I help you make some new ones? Oh? So you can take credit for them, huh? What? Oh, no. Or maybe slip some vinegar into the mix so they'll think your cakes are better than mine. Oh, you're talking nonsense. I'm talking deceit, sweet. Underhanded kitchen tricks for my own sister. <gasps> You almost hit me! It was an accident. An accident? I don't believe you. Huh. Well, that was. But this isn't! Ah! <gasps> uh, my apron! My apron! That you stole! Oh, really? Then if you are wearing mine, then you won't mind if I put some of this parsley pop on my apron! <gasps> Mine is the glinty minty sparkle. And I made the creamy carnation rose. Mmm. I've never tasted anything so very delicious. Oh, must be oh, mine. Oh, here, try mine. Mmm. 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 Ah! Mmm! That's it. Uh, they're both great on their own, but mixed together? Oh, wow! <laughs> Divine! Really? You know, if you two created recipes together, your cooking would reach a whole new fantastic level. Us? Cook something together? Well, I guess we could try. Great, because we have some cakes to ice. Come on, I'll help you. Let's alternate each layer with both your cakes and mix your icings, and we'll make one giant cake for Princess Berrykin. I'm gonna have another slice. <laughs> this is the best. If you'll share some of your cooking secrets with me, you can stay. Oh, you can have my old bedroom above the cafe. Really? But you have to try and get along. We may be expert chefs, but I'll admit, 
We aren't expert sisters. <laughs> I'm only asking you to do your best. <sighs> I think we can agree to that. What do you think, Raspberry? Should we give our tech fashions another try? Tech tomorrow! Tonight we eat! Good morning, Postmaster. Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Oh, feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. Oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> Now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans, or... The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster! These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding! Could it be that I'm forgetting? <laughs> Could it be this? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snap Apple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you. Now I can finish my snappy apple apple snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. Oh, I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it. And I'll be surfing those perfect azure waves. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing. Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. A tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea. Watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all day under the sun. Because we're sunshine girls. Tap your feet to the beat now. Sunshine girls. And jump up, move to the groove. Sway to the left, strike the pose. Bounce, bounce, bounce like a beach ball. We're Sunscreen lotion check. Swimsuits check. Beach towels check. Second set of beach towels for when the first set's wet check. Uh oh. Wow, Orange. Are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you. I've hardly started packing and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so She's very nice. nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization, that's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep, there's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality, that's the key to a happy vacation. Uh, I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice.
practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> Just arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us <laughs> next year. Where are these hotels are? from now? We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. really had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. Uh, there must be other resorts. Yes, I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. You. Trip. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm. More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Very Breezy Bay Resort. With a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Very Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place. A place where everyone in Very Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests. Just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? <laughs> yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old fashioned hard work. Or sun, shine, cross. Do -do 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 -do. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? We yeah, can let's have do it, it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, well, yes, yes, you can. Lemon, you help Eric and Bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Eric and Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start learning. Eve, come! Eve, come! One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm. This is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? Why 
What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Uh, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sandcastle. Here, like this. But how do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms. Um, where are our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My Berry Bitty plant food is having a bit of trouble trying to bitty ice these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! Too much shade. I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery. <laughs> oh no. Let's see. What's next? Hey, Orange. You want to have a look at this? Sure, Raspberry. Um, where is it? It, um, <laughs> uh, hmm, I, I could have sworn, but I, huh. Maybe we should try some lemonade. Well, that's very pretty. Oh, but it sure is starting to smell awful. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be exactly like the sand at Berry Breezy Bay. Well, we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it. <laughs> you worked. You really tried your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? The resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork, that's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. We can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange? Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh... not coming. 
Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> oh, for a minute there, I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope. These are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? Oh, those aren't any good. Oh, I think they are. Oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs, they're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This, right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... I think what makes it fun is us being together, having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> oh, I have so many this is ideas. Be great. Come on, let's get going. exact shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mm, they taste great in these pies. Who needs the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow Vacation begins! Welcome to our very own Berry Bitty Resort! <laughs> Beyond the Berry Breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling. Chill out in style There's so much 
much to explore Down on the ocean floor Dive in and swim around for a while Come on girls, let's have some fun Let's dance all day under the sun Because we're sunshine girls Tap your feet to the beat now Sunshine girls Jump up, move to the groove yeah. Sway to the light Don't you think? It's paradise, Orange. <laughs> Our very own tropical paradise. Because we're together, being with friends. That's the key. Yeah! <laughs> hey, look, everybody. Surf's up. We're so before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back! Pupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Blueberry! Good morning, Strawberry! Hi, Raspberry! Strawberry! Morning, Lemon. Mmm, what's that fragrance? Mmm, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Orange. Morning, Strawberry. Where are you off to? As soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pupcake! <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for Orange. The 
This should do it. in the berry bitty world who shrunk the sunflowers Strawberry Shortcake, you are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry bitty fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious too. <laughs> Thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is uh, a bit more bountiful than I expected. Uh, whew, thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. Uh, I'll help you, Berry Can Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Barry Kinville. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? Morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious, berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <gasps> Now, Custard, 
This is not a toy. <laughs> Door with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places. Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst. Do you want to see what under control looks like? time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. Poor Orange, she's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Galloping gooseberries! Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? Hey, you know what? Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and... Oh, me, 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 that was me, that was me, that was me! Excuse me. Um, pardon me. Beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. Wow, you really work 
worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Excuse me, those are for produce only. creative experience, nothing beats painting in a water coloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. She'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, we'll think she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. <laughs> There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything? Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? Oh, how fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. 
Hmm. So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a sort of a um, produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too. Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet. Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry, because she's opening up a new marketplace. We're on it. <laughs> well, looks great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no anytime. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency! What is it, Berrykin Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time. Girls, come back! your help! Hey! Hmm. Morning, hmm. Strawberry. Huh? Hi. Uh, you're here early, Blueberry. Where's Huck? We're supposed to go to the post office together. Still waiting for a letter from Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine? I really hope they want to buy Huck's in my mystery story. I was sure it would come two days ago. <gasps> but it didn't. <laughs> then I was sure it would come yesterday but it didn't. So I'm positive it will come today. In fact, I believe I'll go down to the post office now. I just can't wait here any longer. It's too exciting. Come on, Scouty. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Anybody here? Oh! Blueberry! <laughs> you startled me. I was looking for my special delivery stamp. Oh, what can I do for you? Did a letter come for me, J.D. Bug? Hmm, blueberry, blueberry. <laughs> Silly me, I forgot. There was a letter for you. Was? It's on the way to your bookstore. Special delivery. On its way to... You're delivering it to... Come on, Scouty! <laughs> Excuse me. Wait! Come back! Wait! Don't you have a letter for me? Special delivery? <laughs> what is it, Scouty? We have to catch that postal bee. Oh! The letter's been delivered. Thank you, Scouty. You knew where it was all along. It's from Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. This is it, Scouty. Cross your fingers. I mean, toast. We regret to inform you that your mystery story is not, not what Berry Bitty Mysteries, Mysteries Magazine is looking for at this time. Oh. oh, Blueberry, I am so, so sorry. The worst thing is that Huckleberry was counting on the help it would bring his home for homeless dogs. He so needed to sell that story. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what a show off. <gasps> Pupcake hmm? just gave me an idea. How to raise funds for Huckleberry's dog shelter. He did? We'll hold a dog show. We'll invite folks from Berry Bitty Dale and Acorn Acres and all the neighboring towns. It could be a big hit, don't you think? Yeah! Want to be in a dog show, Scouty? <laughs> but what do you show 
in a dog show. Oh, it's easy. All you do is walk the dogs around on leashes for all to admire. And would fashions be allowed? Well, sure, I guess. Why not? I mean, I'm not saying, you know, everyone has to have them. Just wondering if I could... I mean, you all know Chiffon never goes anywhere not dressed for the occasion. <laughs> of course. Anyone who wants to can have fashions, or not. They'll be optional. Excellent. Oh, Chiffon, want to be in a dog show? <laughs> but a dog show must need doggy hairstyles, right? Sure, but only if you want. It's optional. I mean, grooming is nice, but not all dogs are hairstyle dogs. Well, of course. I wouldn't want to force a hairstyle on anyone it wouldn't work for. Hannah, this is gonna be a sensation! You'll look like a star! <laughs> <gasps> Just walk them in a circle? Certainly we can do better than that. What do you have in mind? Just, you know, train them to do some special moves. Well, I guess it could be an optional thing, but that would look rather disorganized. I mean, if we're gonna have a really fabulous show, we should definitely have all the dogs doing more than just walking. Hmm. Hmm? Just some simple moves. Nothing too complicated. Simple moves? Oh, um... Okay, fine with me. Marmalade, we can come up with a little doggy dance step, can't we? Um. Oh, Huckleberry, I'm sorry about our story. It's my fault. You wanted to write it in a more original way, and I pushed to make it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. <sighs> Don't worry. We'll submit our new mystery soon as we settle on an idea. That's the spirit. We can work on it as soon as we finish training. Training? For what? Strawberry decided we're going to have a big dog show to raise funds for your home for pets. Blueberry, that's fantastic. Wow, you girls are terrific. What do you think of that, Tom Tom? <laughs> Another rejected idea? Oh, so sorry, Bosley. I didn't see you there. I need a brainstorm. I'm all out of mystery ideas. Wait, I got it. The mystery of the disappearing mystery ideas. <laughs> <laughs> if you would welcome a suggestion, I've always liked the advice, write what you know. Not a bad idea. But is there anything mysterious going on in our quiet, normal lives? How about the mystery of where in the world did the floor go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, write what we know. Oh, I know this spot where my pet mobile got stuck. Not sure if there's anything mysterious about that, though. <laughs> it was for the barricades, remember? That's right. They thought my seven dogs were a monster with seven noses. Hey, that would work. I've got it. A monster is terrorizing the berry patch. It has seven noses. And it slobbers all over. At night, it creeps into Berry Bitty City looking for victims. Stealth Sleuth, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> I mean, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> Stan and Skathy, the stealth sloops. I mean, stealth sluice. 
never mind. Too much of a tongue twister. Gus and Betty? Kaylee and Kyle. On the case. That's it! Kaylee and Kyle on the mystery of the slobbering snuffler. I like it! supposed to be practicing for the show. <laughs> it's not playtime. This is very serious. <laughs> now let go. <laughs> you silly. Come back with that. Storytime, Blueberry. Oh, what are you reading today? A very big vacation. Yay! Yay! I'll let you get back to it. I'm sorry you missed story time. Blueberry led us a very big vacation. I'll tell you the story. And so Strawberry and her friends decided to go on a very big vacation. So everyone in Bally Betty City packed and left. It was real dark in the berry patch. But Kaylee and Kyle were on the case. They were going to get to the bottom of this monster mystery. When out of the bushes came a horrible sound. <gasps> Just like the legend warned. First, you hear the noise. Then you feel the heat of the rancid breath of seven noses. Then... The slobbering of seven tongues. <laughs> its teeth were long and glistened in the moonlight. Beady eyes and 14 flaring nostrils. There is no escape from this monster in the berry patch. M -m monster in the berry patch? Why did we ever decide to visit Berry Bitty City? I thought you said it was peaceful here. Welcome to Berry Bitty City and the Marketplace Cafe. Would you like a table? No thanks. Lost our appetite. Huh? Can't get out of here fast enough. Do you know they have a monster in Berry Bitty City? It has seven noses and seven teeth and long tongues that glisten in the moonlight. I heard that the whole town is packing up and evacuating. My word, it's worse than we thought. Better steer clear of Berry Bitty City. That's it. You've got it. Looking good, Marmalade. Oh, hi, Huck. Hi, Blueberry. What you got there? We're mailing our new mystery story to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Good for you. Good luck. Thanks. <gasps> oh! Uh, J.D. Bug, did you ever find your special delivery stamp? It's a mystery. It has completely disappeared. <clears throat> Pardon me, but, uh, is this it? It is! Where was it? Uh... Around. Uh, J.D. Bug, we have a package that needs that stamp. Oh! Berry Betty Mysteries Magazine! <laughs> Chin up, let's strap our stuff. <laughs> that sweater is so style, so chicish. Oh, so you. <laughs> Okay, Scouty, let's see what you can do. Good boy. That's it. Now, how to get you to do the same thing without using the doggy biscuits? Hmm, a mystery indeed. 
Whoa, where are you going? Wait, slow down! Ouch! Where are you going? Whoa! Help! Whoa. Wait, I think if I go under, I mean, if you go over... Ouch! Hold on, Scouty! Stop pulling! Sorry, excuse me! What's going yeah. on? Oh, hi, Huck. Take a look at your competition. <laughs> wow. Plum and Pitter Patch are really advanced. I thought we'd just walk in a circle. We'll just have to practice harder. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. And hop, hop, hop. <gasps> Fantastic! Now, the rollover. That's it. That's not a rollover. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Come on, Chiffon. You can do it. Huh? Oh, no. You're scared. Oh, poor Chiffon. This just isn't going to work. Okay, here we go, Cinepop. Forget the walking in a circle plan. We've got a new strategy. You begin here and jump over this one, and then keep going over the next jump, and it's fun, see? Okay, showtime. Step lively. Hey! <laughs> I said showtime, not dig time. This will not win any ribbons. Cherry! What happened to you? Where's Cinepuff? At Lemons, having a bath. Turns out she's more interested in digging than show jumping. Show jumping? Who said anything about show jumping? Ah, uh, you'll see. At show rehearsal this afternoon. Our first rehearsal! Wow, nobody looks very excited. <sighs> For our next story, how about the mystery of who stole the fun out of the dog show? Shall I go first? Why not? Um, aren't you supposed to have a leash? Pitter Patch doesn't need one. He's so well trained. Waterworks? Who decided that? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Oh, I'll get you guys. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know how I'm gonna fix your hair. Such behavior. Rehearsal is not playtime. So embarrassing. And I bragged how Pitter Patch didn't need a leash. What a fool I made of myself. <laughs> Come on, admit it. We all had a very fun time. It was a great mud fight. I guess I forgot it was supposed to be a dog show and not a plum show. Sorry, guys. I think it's time to let dogs be dogs and Plum be Plum. Plum be Plum. I, I mean, me be Plum. I mean, Plum be me? I mean, what do you mean? I was thinking, let's have an opening dance number in the dog show and you solo in it. After all, you are the star dancer. Really? I could be the star? And so the rest of us could just walk in a circle? Exactly. And how about we lose the water sprays? Oh, that's a very good idea, Strawberry. Great job! The dog show is going to be a smashing success. Look, Strawberry, huh? I made these fabulous, fantastic, chic hats. The dogs are supposed to keep those on during the show? 
<laughs> no, they're for us. Oh, for us. That's very nice, Raspberry. Girls, oh, this is terrible. What's going on, Orange? I haven't sold one ticket. What? I don't think one person from out of town is coming to our show. We sent out flyers, didn't we? We did. I gave them to Jittybug. Well, what about everyone from town? Oh, my. When Blueberry gave me all those flyers and asked me to mail them to everyone out of town, I... I... Oh, my. I forgot to mail them to everyone in town. So, no one, no one in Fairy Pity City but we, us, knows there's even a... I mean, nobody even knows there's a dog show? Do you think we have time to sell tickets to everyone in Berry Bitty City? Not if all the Berrykins already left for the Berry Big <gasps> Berrykin picnic. <laughs> well, did they? Did they? What? Did the Berrykins all go on a picnic? They <laughs> did. Oh. Well, we can't have a dog show with no one to, you know, show to. What will we tell Huckleberry? This show was supposed to raise funds for his home for homeless pets. <sighs> um, I can't imagine what happened. Not one ticket sold. Neither can I. It's a mystery. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hello? Yes, this is Blueberry speaking. What? Mr. Toad Simmons? You're the editor of Berry Pity Mysteries? Uh, that's great. Really? As I said, I'm thrilled with the fresh and new voice of this mystery. And such a clever setting. A dog show. However did you come up with it? So inspired. I love it. You do? I have to say, that first submission of yours, well, it reminded me of a Patty Persimmon mystery. And I've so been there. Read that. Uh, so I'm over the moon to find something so original. We'll publish it next month. Well, that is, if you are still willing to sell it. Yes! I can't believe we did it! <laughs> we Great did it job, together, Got a brainstorm. Kaylee and Kyle and the ballet slipper thief. No! I can't go on. My ballet slipper. It's been stolen. Help me. Don't worry, ma'am. Swan Lake will not be your swan song. Kyle and Kaylee are on the case. What a great idea, Apple, to expand our dessert line to our own dog biscuit business. Okay, Apple, ready to be part of our very best biscuit assembly line? After I decorate the biscuits with doggy-friendly icing, you wait for the icing to set, say, a couple of minutes, then wrap each biscuit in a piece of the pink cellophane and tie on a ribbon. These are already set. I'm on it. Great, cause here we go. Another batch is done. If you find any that are broken or messy, just toss them in the discard box. These will be for the pups of Berry Bitty City. Won't they be pleased? This one's going all the way to Berry Farflung Township. They ordered six boxes. You know, these don't really look like dog biscuits. They don't? No, they really look more like cookies. <laughs> I see. Yeah, they do look pretty delicious, don't they? Like iced sugar cookies. Well, there isn't any reason we couldn't eat them. They're made from all natural, people-friendly ingredients, but they just look sweet. They're really more savory flavored. That's what dogs like. Savory? Yum. Strawberry means like the pretty icing doesn't have any sugar in it. It's sweet potato flavored. Dog friendly, of course. Sweet potato flavored? Yum. <laughs> Mmm. Yeah! <laughs> Ew, gross. 
gross. I saw what you did. What? She ate a dog biscuit. Apple ate a dog biscuit. Apple ate a dog biscuit. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, Sour. They have the same ingredients as a sweet potato cracker. Sweet and I taste tested them. Why don't you try one? Ew, no way. I'm not a four-legged creature who eats off the floor and wags its tail. <laughs> like some people we know. <laughs> <clears throat> These are ready to go to the post office, Sour. I think you went a little too far with your teasing. Why not apologize to Apple? <sighs> Oh, senorita sensitive. Sorry, Apple, I was just kidding. <laughs> Did you really think Madame Key Lime could have done it? I wouldn't cross Madame Key Lime off your list of suspects if I were you girls. Sour. Hi, guys. Strawberries homemade triple berry muffins and spiced hot cider. Yum! That's so sweet of Strawberry to send those over. And for you to bring them, Apple. How's the book? Great! Suspenseful! Predictable! Can I pour you some nice hot... <laughs> Sour, are you turning into a werewolf? Didn't you guys know Apple eats dog biscuits? <laughs> yep, I saw her this very morning chowing down on, yeah, dog food. <laughs> she only tried one of our sweet potato doggy biscuits. <laughs> told ya! <laughs> Sour, be nice or you can be excused from book club. Politeness is another one of our rules you seem to have forgotten. Oh, come on! I was only fooling around. You guys are so stern. <sighs> Sorry, Apple. Apple. Once more, please. That's okay. Try and relax. Hi, Sour. Can we help you? <laughs> Sour, stop your teasing. Can't you see we're having a lesson? Sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> That's the last pineapple. You mean the last straw? Uh, yeah, sorry. On Berry Bountiful Island, they say last pineapple. But straw, pineapple, whatever. It's on now. Apple, where are you going? You were doing so well with your arpeggios. My arpeggios can wait. In the Berry Big Outback, when someone insults you three times, you're required to defend your honor. Uh, I'm not sure what is required in Berry Bitty City, but I don't think it's that. <laughs> Lemon? I really like the new shampoo you're using. It smells great. New? This is the same shampoo I've been using for weeks. <laughs> Hmm, that doesn't make sense. Smells like sandalwood? It's supposed to be lavender. <laughs> that sandalwood smells familiar. Uh, hey! How did dog shampoo get into this bottle? This is definitely my sandalwood scented dog shampoo. <gasps> <laughs> Didn't you all know? Sour likes to have her hair washed with dog shampoo, followed by a good dusting of flea powder. <gasps> <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good morning. Hi, Apple. Morning, Apple. I'll have my usual, please. Oh, it's over there at that table. Sour already got it prepared for you at a special table. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Ah. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> My tablecloth! Queen of Berryvania, and your Royal Highness, Princess Berrykin, thank you for your testimony. Ladies of the jury, you've heard the witnesses' testimony. How at our annual croquet tournament, our visiting royalty was soaked from head to toe with sparkle berry goop. And you've seen the damaged property from the cafe. All this caused by the feud between Sour and Apple. Have you reached a decision? <clears throat> we have. We all think a fair way to work this out is for Apple and Sour to spend the weekend camping at Berry Beautiful Meadow. Alone. <gasps> Together. <gasps> Okay, we're off. You're on your own. We'll see you back in town Sunday night. No earlier than sunset. Try and get along, please. you made me do. That looks... looked... good. I'm sorry. Never mind. I can always make another one. Really? <laughs> my air mattress? Hmm. Okay, I'll blow up your air mattress if you make me dessert. Uh, oh, all right. Deal. Mm. This is pretty good. The campfire is not bad. 
Um, thanks for uh, making it. <laughs> You're welcome. This is better. Thanks. Dinner was um really good. <laughs> as good as the oatmeal I made you. <laughs> I have to admit, I really had you. You looked pretty goofy. Yeah, yeah, but my sprinkler thingy was worse. It's really all my fault. I started the whole thing with all my dog teasing. I'm sorry. Do you think they'll ever forgive us? I hope. Let's make it up to them. How? By you and me not playing any more pranks. Deal. <laughs> Did you hear giggling? Bouncing boysenberries. Look at them. Well, that worked better than I thought. <laughs> Howdy, Hi, girls. <laughs> I wasn't around to help with the biscuits this weekend. And I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Sounds like you and Sour worked things out. I'm glad. Sour is pretty cool. I hope she likes me. But I don't even cook. <sighs> I wish I was more like her. How about you help us by making your own biscuit recipe? My own? Really? Sure. We'll get you started and you can make up your own flavorings. You know, stuff doggies will like. Tea time! I have something for you. It's turtle shaped. I made it for you. My own recipe. It's carrot flavored. Okay, one for Scouty, one for Marmalade, one for Chiffon. Huh, where are you going? <gasps> Doesn't like my biscuits. I must be a terrible cook. What do I do? I can't give the other pups the biscuits I made them. They won't like them either. What if I gave you a crash course in cooking? Really? Would you, Sour? But you have to be serious. And pay attention. And follow orders. I promise. First, a cup of flour. Then a teaspoon of salt. Cup of flour, teaspoon of salt. <sighs> oh, great. Just great. Cup of oil, teaspoon of paprika, tablespoon of lemon juice. <sighs> oh, great. Just great. I knew it! I'm brilliant. Brilliant. Mmm. You are. You're a natural chef, Apple. Really, Sour? But I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I mean, how could Sweet Pat Primrose be so, so fiendish? People always have a dark side, Sweet. Sweet doesn't have a dark side. <laughs> Hi, Apple. Glad to see you. Whatever. Brought the cider. So, who done it? Who knows? We're only on chapter four. Some people don't like to skip to the end. You want to know the real mystery? It's that you all sit here every week wondering about it instead of finishing the book at home. <laughs> that was pretty good. Have a popover. I made him myself. Sour helped me. She taught me everything I know. Psych! 
<laughs> no, here, just kidding. They're really good, Apple. I knew it. I'm brilliant. Catch you later. Gotta go visit with my real friends. <laughs> see you. Not if I see you first. What? You were right about the dark side. What did you do to her? Just gave her a cooking lesson. And she's a natural. And there was nothing natural about that. Nothing naturally. Apple, she's acting like... like you. Oh, no. She's a... sour apple. You know, last time, Lemon, my polish chipped in one day. Maybe a free makeover is in order? Well, I did warn you to wait till it dried, but you rushed out of here. I don't have time for slow drying polish. <sighs> it's normal drying, but... Hey, Beauty Betty, are you paying attention to what you're doing? <gasps> what did you say? You got polish on my fingertip. Do you think you can keep it on the nail, or do we need to get you connected dots? <gasps> Whoa. Apple, what's gotten into you? What's gotten into me? Hmm, I think I learned to cook in one day, but Lemon needs to go back to beauty school for, like, forever. <gasps> Apple, I've had it with this chop shop. Good luck, good riddance, and good bye. <laughs> Oh, it's you. You what? I want to give you a free makeover to correct what happened this morning. Uh-huh. Well, I guess so. Now that's more like it. Hello, Apple. Uh, what's the deal? How can I get my free makeover with all these customers ahead of me? Oh, no, no, no. You're first in line. They've been waiting for you. Oh, well, that's better. Sit here by me. We just want to tell you what we think of the new apple. New apple? You see, we really miss the old apple. You used to be so sweet. And now you say mean things that hurt our feelings. But I thought you'd like me more. I'm glad you and I are friends. And I'm flattered you like me, but I don't want you to act like me. You don't? Just cook like me. <laughs> Don't you think one meanie in Berry Bitty City is enough? Oh, I guess so. I miss the old apple, too. You mean you already liked me the way I was? Yes! And maybe the old apple could give me a crash course. In what? Friendliness. That's what Tea Time did with my biscuit. He didn't like it. Oh, no. They're saving them for later. To a pup, that's the highest compliment. You mean? Yep. Tea Time loves your cooking. Just the way it was. Even before I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs>